Hey there, guys, guys, I'm Jeff from Rank Team here, and we are back. Continue our Let's Play Victory 2 Ultimate Mod as the Holy Roman Empire. And here in the last episode, we did go and finish our war with pretty much the rest of the world. But we still have ourselves a war against Brazil. Even though I think that Brazil won't necessarily be a problem, I still am not liking it. Um, so th it's a problem. But first, I'm going to demobilize. Because that production impact, yeah, it's, it's not good. So I'm going to demobilize our armed forces, our reserves. That actually went and greatly reduced how our armies are. Yeah, pr pretty much. Um, is it good? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I, I'm happy with it. But no, it's, it's like, what are we going to do? I, I need to stop. Grand Colombia looks so sick. Brazil's a problem now. I want to peace out as fast as possible. Defender occupation. I don't know what's wrong with that. Could I peace out now? They would not accept it. Okay. Um, I just have to wait till it gets better. I think for me. I'm not sure where they are, like, occupying any of my territory, so... I'm a bit confused there. Maybe if I scroll along here, maybe I'll find that out. Um, Cambridge. No, no. You, you're just trying to deal with those troops there. Okay. I'm chilled with that. Um, besides that, I, I should actually go and move all my troops out of France. What I would like to do, though, probably when this episode is fin finished, is go and rebuild the military but to go and do it properly if um you understand what i mean so that i can actually have um a military compriser that the, got the cavalry the artillery and all of that stuff and do that behind the scenes as well as go and get my industry going because it's it's not very good it's not so good and I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it in my opinion, it's it's not doing so well with so many unemployed people. It's definitely upsetting a lot of people. Although upsetting them is good for me, to a point, I'm not liking it at all. I should actually go and put... No, I'll just leave military spending as it is. I'm not liking that. Even though it is getting me the reforms that I want. So I might, I might just let it go. Plus, I have this force here as well. Um... So, most likely what I will do is delete all my armies, get rid of them, and start rebuilding from scratch. And then, by the time that you see me in the next episode, I would have had my industry up. Like, it, it would be insane. It would be like this dominating force, because it's led by the AI, and it, it would be sick. Um, and also, we would have like a fully operational army it would I think would be sick if I could go and name it all nicely and such um, what would really upset me is if I had troops that disappeared but hopefully that problem's gone um, yeah just pretty much for this episode it's it's time to clean it's time to purge the rest of the world from how they look come on like it's it's looking terrible well we, we have quite a lot of consciousness it's it's not good um, I'm sure we'll go down eventually, but not now. And plus, like, if I were to go and get the industry sorted out, it should also go and reduce the lag because not as many people needing, uh, uh, what you call it, employment and so will kind of die down on the construction of the factories. Because I'm sure, yeah, I've got a lot here. And this is all essentially to go and accommodate. Um... I honestly, I love it when I see other countries suffering with nationalist movements. I just wish they would break themselves and be free. Why can you not free yourself, please, Moldavia? You've only got essentially these things, but that army's just gonna go and take you out. Why? Uh, but besides that, everything else is good. So, I need the next reforms, that's it. Keep on pumping those reforms. Get the economy going, essentially. Get it going, like, pump it out. Then, change to a reactionary form of government. And then hope that reactionaries come to power so I can get an appointed 
uh, what you call it, upper house, party only, then to consolidate that absolute rule, I'm sure I'll upset a lot of people in my country, no, they'll love it, they'll love it because they love their country, so it's, it's okay, it's, it's, it's justified, what more technology could I do? Uh, market regulations, time saving, yes, that's everything that helps in terms of, uh, what you call it, um, factories, yeah. So yeah, our people are already doing a lot better, uh, that's probably why the militancy went down quite quickly. Probably because the people got demobilized, that's most likely it. Um, I could go and put this back up, um, I think I will. We'll decrease the amount of money that we get. Um, and administration. Uh... Why you be so expensive? Education so good though. Just just so expensive. Wait, wouldn't they go and pay taxes though? So when I go and get that back in a sense. Hmm. Possibly. Well we are still earning a good amount of money. And we're taxing our people at a relatively good amount, so that's good. That that's under control. Um Flip where are they occupying me? Just please. It, Secure. What the? Oh, you occupying them? Oh, that's totally understand. Oh, they're having Republican guard problems. Okay, time to send the military and take them out. So that that won't be a problem. Okay, well we can sort that out. We can possibly get this war finished. Won't have to deal with that. Could get the war exhaustion to go down. That would be lovely. That would be top. Um, oh yes, another reform, thank you. Um, then besides that, it would essentially just be putting down... But would I do pensions? Or would I do unemployment subsidies? I think... Pensions. I'm scared to do the other. Uh, patriarchal society... I like having those social reforms. I could do wartime mobilization. That, that definitely decreases our population growth, which in my opinion, like, that's something that I need. I I think I need that. Um, and it also increases factory output, which is also good. Um, so I think I'll end up going, finishing off safety regulations and going on to pensions. Um, then I'll work on unemployment subsidies. Oh my word. And that's going to definitely be a burden on the state. Eh... No, it's okay. I'll leave. I'll leave that discriminatory school system going. Just eliminate them and reclaim our land, of course. Um, yep. Redirect you guys to go take the shortest route there. Um. Oh wait, 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 wait. Brazil is demanding a peace on the following terms: white peace. There we go. Enjoy ourselves a nice white peace. I could actually go and put that through Imperial Tyrol. No. Um, although we do have that capacity, I should actually, I need to pull you guys out, just shove you guys there. Uh, we'll just go and sort that out. Oh no, you guys are going to lose the constitutional monarchy, although it, it, it's awesome. Maybe, it, is a constitutional monarchy conservative? I'm not sure. More, the thing that really ma- oh flip, they're trying to take some territory. For- Oh, flip, why you do that? Gain 20 war exhaustion. What happened? Flipping insane. 35. That, oh my. Casa barely acquisition speed, RGO, throughput, factory throughput. No more war. Ridiculous. That is so bad. So that's what the war has been doing. Oh, our factories are topping it. They're doing really nicely. That's not doing so good though. It should close itself down because that's how capitalism works. How are the Dutch looking? Oh, they look like happy chappies. It's more about the rest, yeah. British, white army, citizen guard. Reactionaries versus dem democratics, essentially. Flip, is my con- Yeah, my people are doing a lot better. They're a lot happier, that's for sure. Crack of the whip, or oh, no. No, we won't do that. We, we're not into the slave stuff. Slave states don't 
to really do anything beneficial since I don't have slavery. What I would think would be cool is if I could have slavery but enslave every other culture, everything outside of the German culture group. And then that way I'm essentially getting free RGO goods and I'm not having to pay them and they completely get their needs. Plus, the German people, I would have to convert them all into craftsmen. And what they would do is produce goods for themselves, and the goods would be at super cheap prices. I would still need some places to sell to, so I'm not sure how well that would work. I'm not sure. Maybe once I've like sorted everything out, made everything needs and stuff, then that could possibly be beneficial, but... Uh, besides that, I don't think so. I hate having to deal with all the problems of everybody else. Leave the Holy Roman Empire, the South of the German Confederation. Uh, not going to happen. Um, how close are we until we can go? And it's odd. It's because of oh, my flip. That's. I'm going to have to wait till walk exhaustion drops. That's pretty much it. Um, that means I'm not going to be able to pump out a lot of war. Our industry is honestly, it's it's crazy. Oh my flip, oh my flip, oh yeah, oh yeah, international pharaoh will be moved from the Holy Roman Empire, gain 30 prestige, lose 1000 infamy, gain 25, 24.9, oh yeah bros, that's how it goes, I, that actually rhymed, that was sick in my opinion. So our consciousness will actually drop. That will go and reduce the groups that the people actually go and form because that's insane. They've got many groups up. Um, besides that, I still would like my infamy to climb, but it's climbing back very slowly. I've got so many things that go and keep it down. And it's it's not so good. So I'll work on like uh, rather militancy over consciousness and all of that. Organize oh, crackdowns and yep, behind the scenes go and start rebuilding the military, let factories do their thing, have no problems with anything else pretty much. Stock exchange better tax efficiency, that will definitely help. I'm just wondering, does tax efficiency end up taking more money from the people or does it just amplify the amount of money that you get so think of it like reduce let's say the bureaucrats were corrupt and they just took some of the money off the side would tax efficiency reduce their corruption and then through that means they don't take out they take the same amount from the people but then there's just more money coming to you. Oh no, come on, maintain the constitutional monarchy. It's so sick, don't let it disappear in your civilized nation. And it's, it's, it's gonna take forever before we can go and get our next thing. Yes, it is. I seriously wanna break up the Ottoman Empire though. I wish I could just do dismantle empire. Because this is, it's going to take forever. It, it is coming along a lot faster though. What is this? No, Portugal. Oh, Zulu. Oh, that's okay. I want to take the Zulu. It's okay. As soon as we finished with the rest of the world, just pretty much dissolving their empires and such, I'll further go and move on to Africa. And clean up Asia pretty much. Oh no, I forgot, I completely forgot, I had a castle barely with the Persians to go and get them to release Azerbaijan, no, that's so terrible, I can't believe I forgot about that, no, oh I'm so sorry guys, oh no, I feel so bad now. I'm really sorry, bros. How's consciousness coming through? It's, it's decreasing. It's good. It's good. What's this? Um, 
We have English nationalists. Go take you out, pretty much. Sorted. And besides that, I'm... I'm sorry guys that this wasn't the most exciting episode. I still do think that I've kind of got what my plans are under control. And that's what you will be seeing implemented already by the time of the next episode. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. And so please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching and peace out.